Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to Veteran Idiot, and I am a colossal idiot. The last couple days have been quite the emotional roller coaster with this guy here. Went and I found a 351. I ordered all kinds of parts for it, got headers, the accessory brackets, oil pan, everything I'd need to convert this in here. And then I started taking it apart and I found things that I didn't want to find. So first off, these shouldn't be a half moon shape. It should be a full circle and go all the way around the piston, but they don't. And I was looking at the piston and I'm like, oh, it's, uh, you know, not so bad. It's all right. It's not a great piston. It's super low compression, whatever. Ouch. <coughs> oh, all right. Okay. Maybe we can deal with that. The bearings aren't too bad. They got some scuffing, but the journals are good. And then there's some bent push rods. And it doesn't turn over. And I think these cylinders are going to need lots of help. Then when you flip it over between this guy and this guy here, it's not too bad, but I mean, it's just not worth it. I mean, I'm going to be doing the exact same thing to this as I was doing to that over there. Except I'd be putting all the money into the swap parts too. So here we are back at ground zero. Let's run through it and see what we got. All right, so let me run you down through my thought process in the last 24 hours. Let me tell you, it's also been like that. So here's where we're at. Made a decision, go get a 351, bought all the parts for the 351 swap. Got a 351, $250. Was it a gamble? Hell yeah, it was a gamble. Uh, didn't pay off. Shocking. The issue with finding something else was I can't find any 351s that are less than $1,000. And with the amount of money it takes to swap one of these in with all the, the headers, the accessory parts, the whole kit and caboodle to get this thing into that car, it was just way out of the budget to try and find something $1,000 and higher. And then it's still a gamble on whether or not those work. So I thought $250, maybe it just needs some bearings or something to be good to go. No, it needs bored out, completely rebuilt. Save it for later. Maybe we'll do a stroker or something on that. Put it in the corner, let it gather some gust, dust. Return all that other stuff, get all that money back. Done. This, no longer a consideration. So here's where we're at now. Five liter. It needs bearings. Uh, I haven't pulled a piston out to see if there's any scoring or if it needs rings yet, but it needs bearings and it needs top end. Now, here's the good news. I went and I bought some three bar GT40 heads for this 351, thinking of a budget for the swap. Speaking of budget, it is really, really hard to do a budget build with this car here. I'm trying my hardest to get the budget into the build part of this. They don't want to come together and do what they're supposed to. Anyways, so moving on. Bought some GT40 heads uh, that already have dual rate springs and they already have 3.8 studs uh, for roller rockers. They look good. They haven't been milled, they haven't been decked, have not been ported, somewhat unmolested other than they've been upgraded with the springs and uh, studs. So I've got those. That takes care of some of the top end for this. I need to get push rods, the bearings, uh, the roller lifters, a new cam and rockers to put this back together to put it in there. Okay, with everything that I returned for the 351 or are going to return for the 351, that leaves us with a surplus of money because it's not going to cost as much to do that to this as it would to put that in there with a good engine. So we're ahead there. That's what we got for that. Uh, provided there's absolutely nothing else wrong with this engine, 
I can use the same gasket kit that I bought for the 351, put it all back together, put it in there, leave the A9L uh, computer and injection, and then build it later. We'll get an intake manifold, maybe a sniper, or we'll get the LS style high RAM sniper intake plenum with the Terminator X harness, and that way we really got some adjustability. Get rid of that mass airflow, and get rid of the throttle body that's about this big. Okay, so that's where we're at. This, a B cam, roller lifters, push rods, GT40 heads, roller steel rockers. I can make that old oil pan work. I think I can bang it out. And then it gets the A9L and the factory uh, fuel injection. Hopefully it doesn't completely starve itself for uh, fuel and it tries to mix up the mix. The, I'm told that these computers are pretty resilient. They can adapt for a pretty large range. We'll see what factory injectors, factory uh, throttle body and factory mass air does with a B-cam GT40 heads. GT40 heads really shouldn't change anything. They're better, but kind of minimally better in that sense. They're not gonna flow as good as like a AFR head or something like that, but it's good heads we can put on here and they're already upgraded. Then the elephant in the room, this guy. So this LS, all aluminum, doesn't have any accessories on it. Would have to get all the accessories, would have to get headers, have to get an oil pan, would have to get the wiring harness, uh, either Terminator X or the uh, factory harness, uh, would leave the truck intake plenum on the top, uh, but we would have to get the throttle body, have to get all of that business, the motor mounts, bell housing, this cooling system should bolt up to it um, and the alternator, 300 amp alternator that we just got will not work on there. So, all right. So all of that money, more than what we were going to do to put in the 351, but the engine works and it runs and it's a good engine. Here's the problem with it. I don't have this unlimited budget. I, this is a budget build and so we're trying to keep it below the threshold on the budget, we got other things that we need to do. There are lots of projects going on. So after looking at all of this, trying to figure out what I'm gonna do, see if it's worth rebuilding this 351, it is not going to be worth rebuilding that 351. Getting the bearings, uh, oversized pistons, or even doing the stroker kit. Stroker kit was like, at the, the low end, $1,600. Um, and plus all the machine work and everything else. It's just not in the cards to afford all of the swap parts, rebuilding that 351 uh, in any way at all. So over here, the five liter is still a good engine. And I think a lot of you, and I wouldn't say majority, but a lot of you said to just go ahead, rebuild this, put it back in the car. The only problem I have with all of that is it's just not a high horsepower engine and it takes an astronomical amount of money to get it anywhere near competitive, even though we don't intend to race this car competitively. It's just a lot of money in the wrong direction. But what sold me to come back to this is that I can take everything that I'm putting into this and put it back into this 351 aside from a lower uh, intake manifold, whichever direction we go in that standpoint. So there's not a lot of sunk cost into this to eventually make that work. A lot of the parts that we buy for this can go over there. Oil pan can't. That's why I'm just going to bang out the bottom of that factory pan, call it a day. It just makes sense. And I think what we need to do to get this car back on the road is start completely over with our budget build and do budget things. We're gonna budget rebuild this. I'm gonna get some, uh, I think it's emery cloth or something. We're gonna polish up the journals. They're not bad, they're not scored. It really won't take anything at all for that standpoint. We're gonna get rod bearings, main bearings. I'll check the rings, see how they look. Cylinders, maybe dingle ball hone. Pull all this out clean it up, put in a B cam, 
put in a new set of uh, roller lifters and rods and the steel roller rockers. Not a huge fan of the aluminum ones. Seen them chewed up in my race car several times. I'm hoping the steel is a little bit better. I understand rotating mass, ooh, but it's probably so minimal. I don't know, I'm not a machinist. I'm not an engine builder. I think I'm gonna try steel and we'll see where it goes from there. So this GT40 heads on there with all of that business and I think we'll be good. Really, really won't notice its full potential with the factory throttle body, factory mass airflow, and the factory in, uh, injectors. But that'll be good. The money I spent on the clutch will be good. It can go over to the 351, provided we do it in a reasonable amount of time to where I shouldn't replace it anyways. Money I put into the flywheel won't work. 28 ounce, 50 ounce, have to get a new flywheel for this one. That'll be an even swap. Old flywheel, new flywheel, done. Not concerned about that. So what we got is way too much money out of the budget to put in. Probably be a fast car right out of the box. Just can't do it. Just, it's not, not feasible. You're gone. 351, way too much to get that built. Way too much to go find another one, roller or otherwise to put in together with all the other upgrade parts and swap parts and everything else. That's out the window. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna rebuild this poor, poor, poor abused, heavily abused five liter HO on a budget and throw it in this car and beat the piss out of it until it either pukes its guts out on the ground or we rebuild this 351 with some sort of stroker or find something uh, like a roller block and then we will uh, put that in. So that's been my last 24 hours. And now that you're caught up, we can start this process. But it's not gonna happen on this episode because I need to go have a drink and relax. But it'll be coming up soon. I'm gonna tear this thing apart. We're gonna get the bearings ordered up. We're gonna get everything ordered up, should be here shortly. And we'll put this thing together, throw it back in the car, put it on the street or what it deserves not to be on these jack stands. Who knows, in the next couple days, in a week, maybe two years, who knows? We'll have this car back together and on the road, but I promise you it will happen. Thank you for watching. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, like everything, hit all the social medias. I do all kinds of stuff everywhere. Thank you again for watching and as always, have fun. 351, complete rebuild, pistons, board over, bearings. I got GT40 heads, we can throw those on. Still need a cam, still need rockers, still need lifters, push rods. It has a conversion pan, it has conversion headers, accessory brackets, intake manifold it would need because I don't have one for a four barrel carburetor to do the sniper kit. That part of the budget would be out. Bearings, lifters, rods, push rods, heads, which I got the GT40 heads for that so we could throw onto here. It has 3.8 studs so we can do uh, roller rockers as well. Gasket kit, throw it in the car with the same factory stuff, probably going to be a turd. Complete swap, all the accessories on the front, swap headers, swap mount, swap pan, bell housing, harness, ECU, or Terminator X to go on here. That's what it would take.